Hey there, Sagittarius. My Sagittarians, thank you so much for tuning in. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Again, thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, welcome. It is very, very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what's up, guys? So, welcome to your reading for March. Not for March? Why do I keep doing that? Okay, for September of 2020. <laughs> <laughs> um, no real long intro. I want to, let's just get straight to it. Um, I do want to say though, thank you so much for being patient with me and getting these readings out. I really, really do appreciate it. Also, you probably see all kinds of glare in my glasses. I have my door open because it is a beautiful day and I just want to like let the sunlight in. But, um, all right, Saj. So as you can see, I have your pre-shuffle here. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to be honest with you, Saji. What I'm hearing with this is you are missing out on a golden opportunity here. Not gonna lie. One of the first, the first card that came out for you is the Four of Cups. All right. And then as I kept going, I was like, mm, okay. And then I kept shuffling. I kept shuffling. This one card tried to come out, but wouldn't actually fully come out. But I heard myself say, take that one. Make sure that get that one gets into the spread. Okay. I'll tell you which card that is in a second. But um, then more started to come out, and I was looking at the situation. And I was like, okay. And what I'm feeling here for you, Sag, is you are missing out on an opportunity. You're not taking out, you're not taking an opportunity for growth um, for what it is. Uh, almost as if you're taking it for granted. Some of you may be taking something for granted, but there is an opportunity here for you to grow and expand and learn and even reach a new level. You do have the page of pentacles here, but it is in reverse, okay? You have an opportunity to 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 rise up to a new level, and your your intuition or the universe, uh, God source creator, your angels, your guides. This is what this feels like. Are kind of egging you in this, or or kind of leading you in this direction. But there's a lot of uncertainty. There's a lot of unknown here, um, and that's causing you to not take this uh, opportunity or take advantage of this situation that ultimately is, yes, it's a, I, I will say, Sag, that I do feel like you're at a crossroads here, but at the same time, um, I feel like what you're facing, the choice that you are facing is choosing something, going one direction and leaving something else behind. Um, and the, 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 the direction that you would go in that is to your highest benefit, um, there's a lot of uncertainty surrounding this. And so you're not completely willing to take this opportunity. But here's why I feel that it's this way, Sag. Because there's some sort of work that you're going to have to put into this. There is a reluctance here for someone to take the lead, for someone to put forth the effort, um, for someone to, to, to roll up their sleeves and just get to work. And you remember that card that I was saying almost kind of came out but didn't fully come out? And I heard myself say, make sure that gets into the spread. Well, it's the magician. You have to take the lead here, Sag. Somehow you have to, you have to take control of this. You're going to be that you're going to have to be the one to spearhead this situation. And that may be what's holding some of you back. It's like almost as if you feel like you're not adequate enough or you're not ready to, oh my God, what just flew into my apartment? This big ass fucking mosquito, yo. Sorry. Um, <laughs> some of you don't want to take the lead, don't want to take the initiative, don't want to do this on your own even. And it really, with this Four of Cups here, this really just feels like, uh, Sag, I, I hate to say it, but I almost feel like you're being lazy. And then in the center of everything, we have you, Temperance. Okay, Sagittarius, but... Honestly, Sag, what I'm getting with this temperance card is spirit kind of asking you to calm down, to chill out, to, um, to be easy on yourself, because ultimately this is going to lead to your greater good. This is going to lead to a greater sense of balance, understanding. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> balance, understanding. Um, this is going to lead to your highest good, but you have all this confusion surrounding you right now, Sag. So like... I really want to say trust your intuition on this one. Okay. You know, I'm going to give this one more shuffle and then we're going to get started. 
But that big ass mosquito that just flew into my apartment, I think those are the ones that have been biting me and leaving like these big ass bites that turn into like a pimple or like a blister on top. And it's gross. And I, 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 I had one on my knee and I let it go for a while and the pimp, the blister just got bigger. I mean, it wasn't huge, but it got like a little, it got bigger and bigger because more of the venom was coming out or the, that whatever the, 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 the blood thinner that they use to, you know, so I popped it, like I, I, I ruptured it, and man, that thing oozed. <laughs> it was so gross. I'm like, what the hell is biting me like this? That big ass fucking monster mosquito that just flew in here. <laughs> okay. All right, Satch, <laughs> here we go. Hi, spirit. <laughs> Please make me a clear channel for all Sagittarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our September 2020. All right, Sag. Here we go. I'm going to give this five shuffles for you. Um, Sag, I'm seeing red for you. I'm seeing red and I'm seeing yellow. And I really think that you need to be grounding something into your existence right now and then taking action on it. One. I really think, I really think action is, is ready to be taken at this point. Two. Um, you, I think this may have a lot to do with all of the healing you've been doing over this last year. Um, especially since this is three, um, you know, I did that reading for you guys last year. I believe it was in August in which y'all made me freaking cry, but you've been, you've been healing from this ever since. And now I think it's time to start really taking action. This is four. what I want to say to you, Sag, is it's time for you to start st sticking up for yourself or standing up for yourself. You know, it's time to start putting what it is you learned into practice. This is five. You know what I mean? Like, no more procrastinating. Sorry. I had some steak and eggs for breakfast, and, and I have some of it stuck in my tooth. <laughs> Whatever, I'll just deal with it. All right, let's cut the deck here. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you, Sag. You have the Page of Swords. And with this, I hear listening and learning. Um... Sorry, guys. <laughs> Honestly, Saj, I think... I'm going to pull the rest of the cards. But with this page of swords here, I almost want to say to you that you're, you're seeking too much. I understand you may be trying to gather information... You and, and, and I don't think that's a I don't think that's wrong, and I'm not ever going to tell you to stop doing your research or stop uh, investigating or stop gathering information. But I also want to tell you to stop procrastinating because I feel like some of you are hiding behind this page of swords energy, saying, "Well, I, I just haven't taken action yet because I'm trying to get all the facts straight." Well. At some point, and this is where the High Priestess is coming into play from your pre-shuffle, at some point, you're just going to have to get moving with whatever it is you have because you're not going to know everything all at once. Underneath the Page of Swords is the Two of Pentacles. Underneath the Page of Two of Pentacles, ah, good though, is the Ace of Wands. And underneath the Ace of Wands, ah, there's the Lovers again. And quite frankly, Sag, this lovers right now for you is saying you've made, uh, well, all of this put together, but cut, uh, but then with the lovers on top of it, it's saying you've made the choice, Sag, now get on with it. I'm sorry, I have to get this out of my tooth. Hold on a second. Okay, Sag, sorry about that. Um, we're good now. Okay, so yes, the... What they're also saying now, Sag, is the decision, the, the, the decision has to be made. I really think, what I, Sag, what I feel like is happening here is y'all are standing here holding this, this Ace of Wands, knowing exactly what it is you want to do, but you're procrastinating. It's like, it's like you don't want to take action until everything is completely 100% in balance and in place. And what the High Priestess was saying 
earlier in your pre-shuffle is that that's not necessary. You have exactly what it is you need to take the first steps. Who? We were talking about this in morning coffee today. Okay. Uh, today is, uh, August, geez, September 9th, if you want to go check that out, if you haven't seen it yet. <clears throat> Okay, so um, let's get into this. First half of your reading, first set of surrounding energies. Nine of Pentacles, Sagittarius. You are ready to go. You're set. You have everything you need. Already. At least to get started. Not to say that this is going to be the... I don't even know. I don't even know where I was going to... What I want to say about that, but... I mean, you have you at least have what you need, Sag, to get started. So you might as well just do it. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles is coupled with the three. Look, e the universe is like, yes, girl, bro, go get this. You're ready. Let's do it. I do feel like you've graduated recently, Sagittarius, for sure. But now it's almost as if, I don't know, um, I almost want to call it senior-itis. You know, like when you're like a senior in high school or a senior in college and you're about to graduate and you just like, I don't need to do anything. I could just coast through this and like senioritis, but like post because you've already graduated. So now it's you're at the point where it's like you almost don't want to get started on the mission or the work at hand or start walking down this path of what it is you've chosen to do for yourself um, or for your life because Again, it's this energy of not wanting to put forth the effort. I feel like you almost see maybe how much of a struggle it's going to be or how much work it's going to be or how long of a road. We were literally talking about this in morning coffee today. Okay. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Sagittarius. You have the, ah, ah, ha, ha. There we go. We have the eight of swords here. And now see the eight of swords you have to be you have to be the one to break yourself out of this no one else can do it for you but also i mean you can break yourself out of this because all you got to do is shimmy over to those swords and cut yourself free now be careful not to slice your wrist or anything <laughs> or like your leg or something but like, you know what i'm saying i feel like you're uh, you're intentionally holding yourself in this place in this holding pattern thinking that you need more information And it's like the universe is saying to you, get on with it already. Eight of Swords is coupled with Satch. The Two of Swords. You are, you, mm, honey, come on now. The Two of Swords and the Eight of Swords. You're in this, you're in this intentional holding pattern. You are literally holding yourself here out of fear. I'm hearing lack of better judgment here. Okay, your challenge. Hmm? Ten of Swords, putting this to rest, letting go of the past, healing. Look, part of your healing process, Sag, is not just dealing with the past, dealing with the emotions, going through the emotional cleansing and cleaning and, and healing, going through the potential dark night of the soul and all that. Sure, that's a big part of it, but there's also another big part of it. And that big part of it is then taking action moving forward, taking action in terms of, again, putting what you've learned into, into practice, right? Ten of Swords is coupled with, yep, yeah. Six of Swords. So your challenge, Sag, is you have t brought some very painful situation to an end, but now it's time for you to move forward. Where you had a moment where you needed to rest, you, need, you needed to recuperate, you needed to heal, you needed to meditate, you needed to isolate for a while, you needed to, you know, do your self-care, do whatever, it was, do whatever it needed, you needed to do to, uh, during that part of the healing process, right? But now you have to move forward. Now you have to take action. Now it is your, now you were in that receptive mode for a while. Now it's time to be in that active mode. You were in that feminine mode of nurturance and healing and cleansing. And now you need to get into that masculine mode of moving forward with your life, pick, putting your putting what you learned into practice and, and start taking the steps to rebuild, re recreate, or to accomplish whatever it is you've chosen to, to, to go after. Okay. 
closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, you have the three of wands. And again, this is about taking action. Now, I know the Three of Wands can be quite a receptive energy, right? The Queen, uh, not the Queen, the Three of Wands is about, mo mainly about waiting for your ships to come in or waiting for a return on an investment. But my very dear friend, Betsy of Fearless Intuition, whom I haven't spoken to in a while, actually, I'm a terrible friend, but, <laughs> but um, long time ago, she described the Three of Wands as, yes, it can be a bit of a passive energy where you're waiting for your ships to come in, but in certain situations, you may not have a dock for that ship to ride up to. You may have to prepare yourself, go ahead and get yourself a little rowboat and row yourself out to where that ship can come in safely without running aground, right? So there is some sort of action that needs to be taken in, in terms of the Three of Wands, even though you may be waiting for a return on an investment. But then I took that and I spun it and I was like, well, wait a second. That could also be, yes, you've made a decision. <coughs> Excuse me. You've made a decision. There is something that you want to take action towards. There's something that you want to create. There is something that you are inspired towards, moving towards. Okay? But... You may be waiting for a return on an investment because you've already done quite a bit of investing. But now when you're waiting for that return on the investment, you have to keep investing. You've got to keep the momentum going. So you had your moment in the past, Ten of Swords, you had your moment in the past of generating the momentum of where you want to be going next because you brought a really painful situation to an end. And that phase of the healing process involves you being still and figuring out your emotions, feeling through it, doing the crying, doing the purging, going through the dark night of the soul. That started to create momentum towards where you want to be going next. And now you've done that sufficiently where it's time for you to start moving forward, Six of Swords, and continuing to put the moment or to put the effort into your investment to continue the momentum to bring up, to bring this, whatever it is you're trying to create towards you. Maybe in some cases, for some of you, it's even... Um, um, speeding up the manifestation process too as you continue to pour this momentum or this invest you, you continue to invest energy into what it is you've chosen three of wands is coupled with the wheel of fortune because you create your own destiny destiny is not something that we are at the mercy of sure there are some uh, some aspects to our lives that are, are that are chosen that are we have written contracts with certain people or certain situations and some of those contracts can be bigger than others um, some of those contracts can have can hold more weight for us for us individually in our lives than maybe some of the other contracts sure that's true but your destiny is directly related to the action that you take in to towards what it is you want you literally create your own destiny by your own thoughts actions and the words you speak also something destiny is not something you are at the mercy of you i personally believe that you create your own destiny and so with this energy of the three of wands and the wheel of fortune you have to continue creating and that's why that's also why that magician that came out in your pre-shuffle man did he struggle to get out there I mean, homeboy struggled. I, and, and if it weren't for my intuition that told me, no, put this card on the table, it's part of the, 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 the message, I would have left it in there. <clears throat> and by the time I finished that shuffle, I literally had to pull it out. It's not even like it was hanging out there. No, I had to pull it out. The magician. You have got to take the lead here. You have got to take the bull by the reins. You have got to do the work here, Sagittarius. Okay? It's time for you to now switch into that more masculine mode and take action. When the time is right, obviously no one's telling you to rush, but, but spirit has also been giving you that nudge, like say, okay, let's take a step, please. Let's take these few steps, please. Yeah? Okay. That's what I've got for you, Saj. I'm going to leave it there, and I'm going to move into part two, which is going to be over on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. If the, I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, uh, and if I don't see you over on Patreon, I hope you have a fantastic month. Um, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, you can. All you have to do is email me, divineconversations2711 at gmail.com. That is in the description box below. 
And with that said, I hope you have a fantastic month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of October. Yeah? Take care. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>